Hello everybody and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 2 with me, OXFU. Uh, before we get going with this video, I just want to say that this is not actually a part of the LP because I will not be joining you for most of the video. Most of this video is just going to be pure gameplay uh, to show that... mostly to show that I am actually competent at this game. <laughs> but, um, no, it's, it, it's really to show that you can get through the tanker much more quickly than the two hours I took for the first seven episodes if you really want to. It's not a speed run by any means. I do a lot of things wrong. There's not enough flips for it to be a speed run. I really get screwed up around deck D. A lot of the other parts are pretty solid though. I don't think I actually kill right, anybody. So that's good. The fight with Olga and the fight with the soldiers down before the holds those also went pretty quickly. I was I was quite pleased with those. But again, this is just if you want to see the tanker level without any of the dicking around that I did <laughs> for the first seven episodes. So, without any further ado, please enjoy the rest of this episode. And I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Metal Gear Solid. Let's play Metal Gear Solid 2 with Neo X Foo. Take it easy.
freeze. Move! Ugh. Who's there? Snake. Since I was born, I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my life, my family. We've shared everything, all the bad and all the good. I have no one, nothing except the unit. Nothing else matters to me. Oh! Whoever you are, you're not stopping us.
of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is... Stop kidding around. Snake? Essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes' time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time.
snake. Okay, snake. At the moment, every you want to sit. industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. We, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in the military affairs. Ah! Ah, forget about it. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of Ray. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brands, especially those with submarine and air battles. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, General. Always bear that in mind. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. There's a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project. But I promise you that they will not succeed. Let's do a little stretching, shall we? Left. Down. Right. Front. Getting back to the topic at hand. I have a daughter. And it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children Good. experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I, I know that is my duty. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the Army's Rex, it can cruise deep underwater, move in undetected, and make its landing on any shoreline. Good. Its onboard Joint Tactical Information Distribution System identifies targets with unerring accuracy and takes them out with massive firepower. It is the ultimate weapon, and it is yours to guard. I'd like you all to think about what that means.
So, any codec moments from you, Snake? Okay, first up. This is great. The Marines lettering shows up really well. The next ones... Okay, that's good. The shot from the right is in the bag. And the next one is... Okay, this works. It's a great front view. The next ones... Sorry, but this doesn't work. I hate to ask, but can you try again? And the next one is... You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely use this left shot. Okay, now we have all the photos. Snake, the speech is about to wind up. Forget the photos and get out of there now. We, the Marines, will lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Rain. <laughs> 